Good morning everyone and welcome to week three of Vlogmas. It is Sunday morning. I am actually gonna get started on making some banana bread. It just seems to be our Sunday, sometimes Saturday morning thing. Um, yeah, it gives us a way to use up some bananas and just my family loves it. I'll be sure to leave the recipe down below. I think I got it from, I can't remember the website. I will leave the link down below, but it is like the one and only recipe that I absolutely love. It comes out so good. I'm thinking of making some mini loaves to bring to work as gifts or also part of the upcoming bake sale this week. I haven't decided yet. Um, other than that, same usual Sunday activities, need to meal plan and head to the grocery store and get the final, I think I have about 10, 15 more Christmas cards that I need to verify some addresses on and get those all prepped to mail out for tomorrow. So let's get started on this banana bread. Um, it's gonna go into the oven for 50 minutes, an eternity, basically. Um, so yeah, the oven is still preheating, but I think I'm gonna put it in anyway, because I think it'll be fine, so yeah. And while that's happening, oh my God, I'm looking at the picture, on, I, never mind, that's not gonna show. I'm looking at the picture on the phone, on the website, and I'm like, God, that looks so good. I should have started this earlier today, so. That's gonna go in the oven for 50 minutes and I'm gonna get my meal planner out and figure out what the heck we're eating for them. Okay, so when I'm not completely annoyed by this meal planner, this is the one that I use. It's the Erin Condren um, <clears throat> Petite Meal Planner. It's, it's okay. Um, I don't like that it's dated um, Sunday through, here's a page where it starts on a Sunday that really does not work for me, so I always have to cover it up and start it on a Monday. Um, I'm currently at my dining room table, in case you can't tell, there's like the mess of Christmas cards and my petite planner, my <clears throat> power sheets, which I'm gonna start on part two of my prep work. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and try to get some meal planning done. I'm gonna leave this uh, backdrop poster board down because I need to film this week's plan with me. I think that's the only video I'm gonna film today because I already have a haul video already filmed and then the third video of the week will be this vlog. So that's kind of cool that I only have one to film. Um, if I come up with something else, I'll film it, but no big deal. Three seems to be like my sweet spot with the number of videos that go up per week. So enough about that. Let me start in some meal planning. Okay, so here's a quick look at my meal plan. Now, breakfast and lunch are just specifically for me, not for my kids and my husband. They're all pretty much grown adults. The kids are, one is a grown adult, one is almost. Anyway, they figure out what they're eating. Um, 
but this is more so for me and then dinners are for us. So I'm a creature of habit and you can see like Monday through Friday, I'm gonna eat pretty much the same thing. The fruits will vary. Um, so those aren't always the same. And then the salad and soup also varies, but it's always gonna be some sort of salad and soup combination. And we have a potluck on Thursday because it's actually our holiday party. Um, and uh, fend for yourself is always Thursday night. So I really only cook three days during the work week. And then the weekends, I try not to really plan too much because we just kind of fly by the seat of our pants. It really just depends on what things we're doing if we're out and about. This is also going to be the last weekend before Christmas. So if I'm keeping it real, it's probably going to be a lot of drive through or leftovers or just snacks like sandwiches, things we can make at the house that are super quick. Um, so from here, now that I've decided what we're eating, I will work on the grocery list and sort of take a quick inventory of our pantry and fridge and see what it is that we need to actually make these things. All right, so here's the finished list. I will take this into the grocery store with me. I kind of use this area down here as like a additional things that aren't really part of our meal plan or things that we need for the house, but that I definitely don't want to forget. So I just kind of labeled that a don't forget area, but I really want to remember to get extra cookies for the bake sale and the bags to put the cookies in because everything is supposed to be like individually wrapped. Um, and then I need more stamps because I ran out with all of our Christmas cards and I think two books of stamps will be enough, but we shall. Okay, can we talk about plants for a minute? I have been dying to talk about my plants. I don't know why. This is my Monstera that is now three Monsteras. All of this used to be all in one pot. Sorry about the sun. I should probably move over here. So yesterday, these two were still together. This one I split off last weekend or the weekend before it's been a couple weeks and it's doing really really well and i kind of felt a little bit more confident to split up the bigger parts of the plant but it was just too much and things were going like everywhere you can already see like this is how it is it's already like several feet tall but i'm really happy i came downstairs to check on it this morning uh, and those are chopsticks by the way just using them to sort of stabilize the plant since they're in new soil, in a new pot, all that stuff. I didn't want to come downstairs and have one like completely leaning one way. So, and I'm super proud of this. I know nothing about plants by the way, but I'm just happy this thing is alive. This was a birthday present from a few of my girlfriends. So I got it last May, this past May. So it's been like six months and it's still alive and it has a family now. <laughs> so. I'm very, very excited. I thought that I named this plant, but I have forgotten its name, so I'm not even sure. When I replanted this one last week, the family and I decided we were gonna name this one Baby Yoda. But now that we know that Baby Yoda isn't actually Baby Yoda, we feel like that it's kind of fraudulent. So we need to come up with another name for this little guy and these two. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you guys can help me name my plants down in the comment section. <laughs> Here's today's tea, by the way, while we're still waiting for the banana bread. I'm not gonna drink it tonight, um, it, or today. I should say I'm going to drink it tonight because it is caffeine free. Oops. Super ginger is a little terrifying to me because ginger is something that I'm just new to liking. So hopefully it's not too strong, but I'm definitely gonna try it. I like that it's spicy, sweet, and comforting, which sounds perfect for nighttime. All right, the banana bread is done. It looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to have some of this. I've already had my coffee, but this might be a two cup of coffee kind of day because this banana bread and coffee is epic, epic. Almost looks like brownie through the screen, but I promise you it's banana bread. All right, off to the grocery store I go. I like going at this time, it's about 10.30, so um, I used to go at a different time when we would go to church at 11, but that's changed. <clears throat> so I like going at 10.30 because I'm in there while the second church crowd is still in church, and then <laughs> they're coming in the store as I'm leaving. So it's a weird like time in the grocery store where it's not always too crowded, um, but it's not as crowded as after 12 noon. So I'm hoping that it stays that way, so. Yeah, that's it, so let's go. 
just as I predicted, there's nobody here. I'm gonna get my butt inside and get these groceries done because, oh my gosh, this might be a super peaceful grocery trip and it's exactly what I need right now. All right, home from the grocery store. I can never do like a grocery haul because my family is like a little army and the second the stuff comes in, they divide and conquer and put everything away. And I was like, but, but, but for the vlog. <laughs> They were like, we, we ain't got time for your vlog, mom. <laughs> so one of the things that I wanted to share was I got a new tea diffuser. Let me flip the camera around and show you because I bought one a couple weeks ago and it had like a plastic hinge. It was shaped like a spoon and mine just like didn't want to stay on anymore and it was just becoming a pain. So um, this one was like a few dollars more. I want to say like two or three dollars more. Um, let me let me flip it around so I can stop talking about it and show you guys. So this is the Ribbit floating tea diffuser. I feel like it'll be better for my needs. I cannot figure out why my camera has just stopped focusing on all the things. But anyway, um, it looks like since this part's metal and all of that, like it'll be a little bit better for what I need and easy to clean. So I'll let you guys know how this works. Okay, so now that I've had a minute to figure out what was going on with my camera lens, it was really weird. I must have tapped something on the screen. I'm very thankful that this camera has touch screen, but sometimes not so thankful. So the boys are outside, I think, putting up some additional lights and security cameras outside. I don't know. It's Jesse's thing. <laughs> he has our house like Fort Knox, which I can kind of appreciate, but at the same time, it's like, that's not my thing. So they're doing that. I'm gonna go upstairs and try to figure out what kit I'm gonna use for this week because I need to get a move on and fill my plan with me, but I think I'm gonna eat something first because I'm feeling myself getting a little hangry, and yeah, I need to at least have a snack before I film because it won't be pretty. <laughs> so I have filmed this week's plan with me. Um, that went by really fast. I um, need to clean up my table. There's a mess of stuff here. I need to work on getting my work bag ready for work for the week. Um, I really need to just use my backpack. I think I might try to stitch it up myself. It's not completely broken. It's just there's a stitch coming undone and I could probably just fix it myself and stop making this such a big deal because I really feel more organized in my backpack for work throughout the week rather than a traditional bag or yeah, I need a backpack. I feel more organized. Um, so yeah, it is now about to be four, so I'm gonna watch a little bit of football, take a little bit of a break, um, upload some clips that I have on my camera that need to come off of my SD card, fun times. Um, yeah, and just chill out until dinner. I am making some chicken parmesan. I'm super excited. I need, like chicken parmesan is one of those comfort foods for me. I don't know about you guys, let me know. But chicken parmesan just, it's like a good Sunday, Sunday hearty meal. I need that in my life right now. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. I managed to sneak in some gift wrapping while everyone was downstairs, so now I'm all caught up. I currently don't have any gifts that are unwrapped. This is amazing. Normally, I'm that person that waits till the day before Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve, and I'm on it this time. All right, in the office, I just got done editing this week's plan with me. I'm exhausted exhausted it took a little bit longer i give myself like an hour to edit a video like i feel like i've gotten a little bit better at it over time but this one i was just a little bit more picky about the music which i know is totally my fault but i just 
I didn't like the way things were turning out, so I went back and changed some things, and now I'm just now exporting to my external hard drive, so it'll be at least another hour before I'm actually done with it, and I still have to make the thumbnail. <sighs> I feel like every week, the thumbnail for each week's Vlogmas should be me, like this. Because <laughs> that's literally me every week, but I have my week planned out fantastic new cover love it I um, have my power sheets here but it's already eight just past eight o'clock but I don't think I'm gonna dive into that tonight I think that I am here's what I was thinking let's let's talk about this for a minute I'm really thinking of moving the rest of my power sheets prep work to start the day after Christmas the next week and a half are just going to be, I want my focus to be on my family and Christmas time and all of those things and I don't want to stress about, oh my prep work, my prep work, my prep work and not be um, in this season with my family. So I'm just going to wait till the day after Thanksgiving and then focus on it between, did I say Thanksgiving? <laughs> the day after Christmas um, and focus on it from then through the new year um, and I think a week is enough time I mean I feel like I have a better understanding of how power sheets work so I think I think that that'll be good for me and I feel less stressed um, because I see other people doing their power sheets and I'm like I'm so behind I'm not behind I'm doing it at my own pace and that's all that matters so that is it and as you can hear all of my upper respiratory crap is coming back again it is like Every single night, I'm back to not being able to breathe. So, that means it is time to call it a night. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. When I was getting ready this morning, I was actually watching uh, Christopher Allen's Vlogmas, and I was like, oh my God, we are halfway over. He brought it up in his vlog, and I was like, well, technically we're more than halfway. No, we're right about halfway over. I don't know, I can't count. Um, but yeah, I thought that it was really, really cool. And by the way, this today's vlog is brought to you by my center part. Uh, <laughs> I have been wanting to part my hair in the middle for quite some time. It's not quite in the middle. I have to go a little bit more to the right because I have a little bit of a widow's peak right there. Um, I don't know. There's just something about it. I feel like it just looks classic and classy and I wanted to try it but because I've spent so many years parting my hair to the left um, I always have like way more volume on this side so the last week or so I've tried to part it a little bit less so that when I get to this point it looks a little bit more even and not like I'm trying to do something that's not working so <laughs> there's that um, let's see what do we have on tap for today work uh, work <laughs> Um, I do have some errands to run. One of them I'm going to see if Kayla can actually do for me because at this point of the year, I don't want to step foot in the post office and I have to send out some mail. Um, I have Christmas cards to send, but we actually have like a drive up mailbox. I'd rather put them in the mailbox than put them in my mailbox in front of my house with a little flag up because I just don't trust people and I feel like my cards will never see the light of day or make it to where they need to go to. So, um, that is that our kitchen did not get cleaned up at all last night from dinner. So I also added that to Kayla's chore list. I'm probably gonna get a text around 9 a.m. when she gets up like, mom. <laughs> but hey, that is the joy of having adult kids living with you. All right, need to get this day started because I should have already been in my car. And we finally have some gifts around the tree. We really can't fit anything under the tree because the tree is so low. I also have some extra Erin Condren boxes. I have them there to remind me when I have gifts to wrap to grab some of those because they just come in handy and I don't have to buy gift boxes. But so far the gifts have done well sitting there. There have been no signs of disrespect from the dogs. Praise the Lord. <laughs> There is seriously nothing better than getting in your car after it's been washed and vacuumed. I got to do that this past weekend and I got in my car this morning and I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> 
up because my car from holiday shopping, all of that stuff uh, has been a hot mess. And from Kayla's accident, she had all of her crap in my car. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but she got her car Friday. Um, so she's able to get all of her stuff out of my car, I think. I need to check the little cargo box back there. There might be some of her stuff still in here, but I gotta let my car warm up because it is cold. And by cold, I mean 46 degrees. Yeah, that's, that's cold for here. Um, it's supposed to warm up like midday though, and then we're gonna drop back down to almost freezing tomorrow and Wednesday. Good times, good times. All right, the work day's over. It is time to head home. I wish I was more chatty, but I'm not. I just wanna get home and start on dinner and get out of these work clothes. All right, so I have been working on um, getting my cookies wrapped for the bake sale tomorrow. I think they look pretty good. There's not a whole lot, but last week or whatever when we had a bake sale, I um, there was so much, so much stuff. There was even leftovers, so I didn't wanna overdo it and bring too much. Um, I've got chicken and rice in the pressure cooker because I didn't thaw, oh it's got like seven minutes left, I didn't thaw chicken and when I'm in a pinch I just um, put it in the pressure cooker. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to steam up some broccoli here in a minute to go with the broccoli and rice. I never know where to stand with this thing. Oh, I just noticed because I saw my David's tea over there in the background. Uh, let's open up some tea. So today is the 16th. Let's see what is in here. S'mores chai. Huh, it sounds interesting. Does it have caffeine? Okay, so it has a medium amount of caffeine, so I'm probably not gonna drink that tonight. I will say that yesterday's tea, crap, I have these all turned around. I wanna say the 15th is over here. Yes, yesterday's tea was really, really good. I think I said I was scared of it. It was actually really, really delicious, so I'm glad that there's enough for at least one or two more cups of tea in here. I just, it was so, so good. There's definitely a few in this box that I will be ordering um, after after Christmas, after I'm done with all of this, but this morning's chai sounds really good. It says it's like chocolatey, rich, toasty, and chocolatey. Hmm, sounds pretty good. All right. But we're not drinking that tonight because, yeah, I don't want to be up till midnight. Okay, so dinner is done. We actually just got done watching episode six of The Mandalorian. I'm trying to lower my television so I don't get a damn copyright strike, YouTube. Um, <laughs> anyhow, um, we got most of the kitchen cleaned up and... Yeah, I want to go do some organization in my office because I got like this new caddy. It's like a baby diaper caddy thing. I'll have to show you guys after I fill it and organize it, but I fell in love with it after my friend Kayla over at Hello Living. I feel like there's something on my face. Anyway, who, who knows? Um, she shared it and then planning Penelope. I think that's her handle on Instagram. She shared it as well What's funny is I opened the package and it came with let me show you guys It came with a package of baby socks. So One of my co-workers is due next month These little socks. They're so cute um, But clearly I do not need baby socks. So um, I'm gonna take those to work so that she can have them and they're gray and white so they could be for a boy or a girl. She's having a little girl, but um, it's the only person I can think of in my life that needs baby socks that I don't have to mail these to. So that's what we're gonna do. I might make some tea in a little bit. Right now I'm having another giant glass of lemon water. My stomach has been a hot mess and I just, I don't know, I need to hydrate. I need to, what is going on with my camera? Um, sometimes it's too bright. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, but I want to, just get a little bit hydrated. I have those weird like pocket lights in my kitchen and when you stand right underneath one, it does weird things to your face. <laughs> but then you come back over here and you can actually see my face. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Or I'm gonna go do that. I need to find something to carry the cookies into work for tomorrow because they're super soft. They're like those sugar cookies that are frosted from the bakery at Kroger. Um, but I don't want to just toss them in a bag. They will get destroyed. So, oh, an Aaron Condren box. Yep, 
I've got like a stack of those by the trees, so I think I'm gonna use an Erin Condren box to get the cookies from the house to work and then take my box back because I actually need it for gifts. Um, so yeah, off to the office I go. All right, so here's the new caddy I was talking about. It's a diaper caddy, um, and it's by the brand Molly Ollie, or Molly and Ollie, but the label just says Molly Ollie. It has a lot of space, you guys. I'm not gonna do like a full on walkthrough, but I do love that it has nice long handles. I've got one of my planners here, a sticker book, a couple of other sticker book, a little Erin Condren holder thing that holds my personalized note cards more sticker books because oh my god and it's got like dividers too so there's actually room for a whole nother book in there if I really wanted to I'm just trying to not overpack it with the weight there's a lot of uh, space for pens on that side I just put some of the Erin Condon sticky notes on this side uh, let's see what's in here everything that's in here was in my little caddy that I can't get open one-handed. So it just has the stuff that I like to have with me when I film, like, my washi tape cutter, lotion, lip gloss. I think there's a hand sanitizer in there, too. Um, adhesive roller, wide out. All of those little loose pieces that I just kind of want to have with me. And the chair keeps spinning. <laughs> anyway, I did add this to my Amazon shop, so if you want to check it out, there's a link down below for it, and I think it was fairly inexpensive, like 20 maybe $25. I'm trying to not overpack it because it is truly made for diapers and things like that, So, um, but it's going to be great so that I can cart things up and down the stairs because I film downstairs, but my desk area is upstairs so that's going to be great for that to carry things up and down the stairs without having to make a lot of trips so yeah if you're interested go check it out So that definitely looks a lot better. I decided to just switch around where my caddy and my iPad are, but now I feel a little bit less stressed out that my office is more clean than what it was. <laughs> so now I'm just getting caught up on comments and stuff on Instagram and YouTube. I love interacting with you guys in the YouTube comments. Um, you guys know I try really, really hard to read every single one and respond when I can, but uh, yeah, you guys are just awesome, but I need to catch up because work got the best of me and I wasn't able to jump in and answer comments. So I'm really curious about the comments that YouTube deems likely spam. I'm in this folder and for the most part, they're not spam. So. If it seems like I don't respond to you, it is probably because YouTube has put you in a folder that you don't belong in. Um, like there's a couple that I, I just, yeah, new subscriber, glad I found your channel. Someone tell me how that's spam. Uh, let's see, lovely video, so inspiring. I just started doing my monthly planner. Again, how is that spam? Thank you for sharing. Spam? Uh, let's see, there's a couple that say, hey, check out my channel too, but I don't really mind those because sometimes I do check out their channel. Sometimes I regret that I did. All right, so I am all ready for the work day with about five minutes to spare, which is amazing. And it's also probably because I didn't do my hair today. I just put it in a ponytail. I'm just, 
I straightened it yesterday, so I'm not really feeling like doing anything with it today. I have my stuff for the bake sale, my lunch is packed, my bag is good to go, kind of. My purse is a hot damn mess right now, but right now is not the time to deal with that. Right now it is time to get out this door and head to work. But before we go, we have to say bye to Bruiser. Bye, Bruiser. Have a good day. Don't rub your butt on everything. Thank you. I love you. Be good. Oh my God, it is six in the morning, 6.20, and it is almost 70 degrees outside right now. 70 degrees. Christmas is next week, people. <laughs> These are the things that I do miss about the North. I love the cold. I love the snow. I don't like cold without snow. There's a difference, because um, it's just gloomy and miserable. And yeah, but um, 70 degrees. Come on. <laughs> Done with the work day. It was a long one. It was a busy one. We finished our final bake sale for the holiday party at work and it just went, it went so well. I love when our committee gets together and just pulls together even though we're all busy and being pulled in different directions and we can just manage to um, you know get this done and it's gonna come together and it's it's gonna be great I think we're gonna have an amazing holiday party. I am home. The weather is super crappy It is coming down pretty hard. So I'm gonna go inside see how the family's doing. It looks like everybody's here <laughs> I am NOT cooking tonight because I made enough dinner last night that there are leftovers for today So that'll give me more time to just put at my feet relax edit tomorrow's video Which is a haul video of all of the things I ordered from Erin Condren for Black Friday that was already filmed. They just need to edit it and get it up for tomorrow, which is Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, and that's that's really it. It's going to be a nice, relaxing... Oh, no. Sorry, I see my neighbor's gate is open, and I always worry about their dog getting out because she has wandered off. She's like a pretty, like, hefty-sized Rottweiler, and I always worry about her because she seems to get lost and tries to come to our yard. <laughs> So, and it's raining, so I don't want to see their dog end up. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go inside. Okay, I literally, oh my God, there goes my voice again. Literally just got done filming um, tomorrow's video, not filming, editing my phone. I'm trying to stop it from going off. Um, I just got done filming. There I go again. Oh my God. I just got done editing tomorrow's video. We, I, it's, it's later than what I'm used to, but um, we watched... Joker, the new Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Um, it was on Apple TV. I think it just got added today. My family was like dying to watch it. I thought it was okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so I, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I'm tired. I had like an apple for dinner and it is like 10 o'clock. So, which is like way, way past, way past my bedtime. So, <laughs> I beat. Um, but I need something more than an apple, um, which I know is like horrible to eat and then immediately get in bed, but whatever. We're not, we're not judging here. This is a judgment free zone. Um, I just need a little something. I might have like some toast, something. My gut feels like, why well, did you skip dinner? Like, why would you do that? But we got home, the kids had like chicken nuggets and waffle fries. I don't know, Kayla was on it. She made cookies and chicken nuggets and waffle fries and I wasn't feeling any of that so I had an apple and here we are. So, I'm gonna have something to eat. I need to work on gifts for like my three work best friends like, I, I think I'm not gonna see them before Christmas after Thursday, so I need to get them that. I have some some extra stuff from like Emily Lay that I might give to them. I don't know, I really didn't think I had. I have these Starbucks cups too, but that is gonna be for like my actual work team. Um, and there's one, two, three, four, five, five of them. So I was gonna use these Starbucks cups that I had gotten. I think I showed you guys these before. Um, or maybe I just mentioned it on Instagram, but there are these reusable cups that I got a while back and I knew that I was going to use them in some shape or form for coworker gifts. So I've got to figure that out. But right now I just need a snack and I need to go to bed. And I think half my makeup is like rubbed across my face. I don't even care. Uh, my dogs are here somewhere. I need to let them out too before I actually go to bed. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up tonight and... 
yeah I don't ever know how to close these things out good night goodbye bye bye <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Holy crap. Today's vlog is brought to you by the lady who forgot to put gas in her car on Sunday. And it is now Wednesday and she has 21 miles to make her 30 mile commute. What? <laughs> so needless to say, my first errand of the day will be to put gas in my car. And then I'm gonna stop and pick up something at the store on post. This is literally right across the street from my job and then get to work. Uh, I should have left like six minutes ago, so see you in a bit. All right, I'm all gassed up. It was great because there was no one else here at the pumps because they all manage their time well this weekend and put gas in their car. Anyway, on my way to work. <laughs> I'm gonna do better next week, I swear. Can we just talk about how amazing that lighting was in the gas station? Like, hello, I'm gonna start filming all my vlogs from the gas station. All right, not really, but I need to get into work. I am also going to work on, when I have some free time or probably during lunch, is just kind of combing over our list of things that we will need for Christmas to include our Christmas meal. I don't, I don't know if you guys do this, but we do make like a dinner, kind of similar to Thanksgiving, much smaller, but we do make a special meal. And usually as a family, we vote if it's gonna be on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. A lot of times it's on Christmas Day because we're already home. We don't have to worry about church because we'll go uh, Christmas Eve. Um, and then we, usually on Christmas Eve, we go to church and then Chinese food, something we've done for years. But then we make a special meal on Christmas Day, like a ham with some sides. And I mean like just two sides. And a dessert is normally like cookies or whatever we've already made to share with neighbors and friends. So I need to make that list because I haven't made that shopping list yet. I also need to work on the list of things I need to finalize for our work holiday party since I'm on the committee for that. So it's like list upon list upon list. Like lists are like the survival kit for the holidays. All right, I'm off and I, I'm going to work. I feel like the day just flew by. We were in full on holiday party prep mode. I was actually gone from the office for half the day to go run errands and get everything for that. So most of that is ready. It's just been, it has been like crazy. But anyway, um, that's all done. I'm home from work. There I go blocking the light again. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think I'm going to skip on cooking dinner tonight because I actually made enough dinner yesterday, was it yesterday, the day before. It's still in the fridge. We have leftovers to eat. I want to do that before I make more food. Um, yeah, it looks like the kids did a lot of chores. It was a half day for Nathan yesterday and today, and now he's officially on Christmas or holiday break. Um, so they're home and just hanging out. I just heard both the dogs run upstairs because I don't know what the kids are doing up there, but I, oh, I mailed off all of our holiday cards. So that was, that was awesome. I'm glad that that's done. I have a few more to send out, but the bulk, like there were about 70-ish cards to send out. Those just got dropped off. I feel like a huge sense of relief. So I'm gonna go put my feet up for a little bit. And so it is the 18th, but I did not even get to open the 17th in my David's Tea Advent Calendar. Let's see, the 17th is Tulsi Tranquility. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. And there is no caffeine in that one. Awesome. Um, so that'll be good for a nighttime tea. Let me flip that one over and let's see what today's tea is. It is the green passion fruit. Oh, that sounds amazing. And I'm wondering if it's just low caffeine. So that's not too bad, but this sounds like another one I should bring to work. Fruit, tangy, and refreshing. It sounds like a perfect way to start the day. All right, happy Vlogmas Day 19. It is holiday party day. I have got, I really wouldn't call this an ugly sweater, but I have my sweater on for the party. It's it's so fun. It makes, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> anyway, I'm one of the coordinators for the party, so I'm not really um, doing any sort of the competitions or anything, but I'm just in charge of them. So I just decided to put on some 
um, like jeggings kind of things, anything that could make life easier to move around and do all of the setup and coordination of this event. But I still wanted to be festive and wear a sweater, but it already feels like it's a thousand degrees. So I hope that I can make it through the day um, wearing this. So yeah, off we go. Isn't this llama the cutest? Oh my God, look even as a little sweater. Holy cow, so we are done with the Christmas party. It went so good. I am exhausted, but I decided to run to Target because I actually won a Target gift card um, at one of the games, and I think I'm gonna see if they have the teapot or like the, is it a tea kettle, the electric tea kettle? So I wanna go in and see if they have that. Um, that way I can, you know, spend it on something that I've really been wanting and researching and looking for. And a lot of people told me that I could find, I'm trying to remember the name brand, but I know it won't when I see it, but um, a lot of people told me that they carry it here at Target. So fingers crossed they actually have it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They had, it was the Hamilton Beach, um, like tea kettle or water kettle. I'm not really sure exactly. I'll put like a little <laughs> picture up here of it, but they're available on Amazon, but I'm glad that I waited and came to Target because um, it was on sale and I had a gift card. So I think I paid like $2 for it, which was amazing. I got the boys, boys, my husband and, or Jesse and Nathan, their Christmas pajamas. I try for them not to get things that are too Christmassy because they're not going to enjoy them. They'll never ever wear them again. So I got them black and white like buffalo plaid um, bottoms and then just a black sleep shirt. Um, what else did I grab? Oh, I grabbed some stuff to add to my coworker gifts. I brought the first half of coworker gifts in today. I need to bring in the last ones tomorrow because a lot of people are taking the whole week off next week. So I'm going to put their gifts together later. Later, um, and get that out of the way. I have something to edit uh, tonight. Other than that, I need a really long nap today. Just, I'm so glad everything went so well, but I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna head home. Look who's back there. So I was gifted a beautiful leopard print um, blanket from Better Homes and Gardens, which I think is a line that they carry at Walmart. I don't know if they carry it anywhere else. Walmart's the only place I've ever seen it. But the blanket is beautiful and Bruiser has already stolen it. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, let me let me show you guys really quick. Look at this. It is such a beautiful blanket. And look. Oh my god, it is so incredibly soft. Like I can't even explain it. And look, he's like, it's mine. You brought it home. It's soft. It's mine. <laughs> okay, so Ooh, let's fix the fix the lighting. So I got the tea kettle. I don't know it's a okay. My kitchen lights are the worst, you guys. I don't know it's official name, but it makes water hot like super fast. Um, let's turn this around. All you have to do is I put a little bit of water in it just to test it out, but that's it. You push down that lever and like the water heats up so quick. Like it's, it's still warm from when I tested it out. I think I've got to fix how the wire is sitting back here. Um, but other than that, it's, it's so cool you guys. And it's by Hamilton beach. Um, super affordable. I like a lot of warm lemon water and tea. So this is going to come in handy without having to mess with my Keurig that, Sometimes the water tastes like coffee and I don't like it. I swear it says it has a hot water function, but I still taste coffee because it's going through the same um, process as you would when you make coffee with a K cup. So this is just like, you can already kind of see it. The water's already bubbling. But like, look how fast that is. That is insane. I'm so, uh, I love this thing. I love it already. Another thing I have to take care of is wrapping two gifts. I have been, saving any Erin Condren boxes that come in. There's two more over there, but these two actually have gifts in there and I need to take them upstairs and wrap them. I love reusing their boxes. One, because they're pretty. Two, they're super durable. And three, they're they're free. <laughs> you already have them. So with my last few orders, I just hung on to, held on to them for Christmas gifts. So that's gonna be amazing. But I want, I've been wrapping as I go so that I don't have things um, I'm not scrambling like on Christmas Eve to wrap, so I'm gonna wrap those two gifts tonight as well. Hi! <laughs> Good morning. 
morning everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 20 holy crap <laughs> i'm not even sure what happened last night like i i went to bed super early it's like the um the what do you call it all the work that went into the holiday party and stuff like that is finally done and over with and i slept like a baby i think my husband put on a movie for us to watch and I, yeah, I don't remember the rest. I was out so fast. So fast that I forgot to put on my makeup. This put, oh God. So, so fast that I forgot to take off my makeup last night, which is why my face is a little red right now. I just washed it and uh, I hate sleeping in my makeup. It's like the worst. You can hear my dogs eating in the background like wild savages. But anyway, um, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's Friday. <laughs> It's like you don't even know what day it is. Ugh. Okay, coffee maker's going. Oh, let's see what today's tea is. This is this is how confused I am right now. I'm like a little, a little out of it this morning. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so I got up this morning and I was like, okay, so if today's day 20, what do I do from 21? Do I stop at day 24? This is my first year doing Vlogmas. I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. Um, so I haven't decided yet, but I have a bunch of half days for work. Look at me. I said the 24th and I went right for the tea on the 24th. Um, so I'm just not sure how to end the vlog or what day I'm supposed to end it on. Um, do I end it on Christmas day? Do I really want to be filming on Christmas day? Do I end it on Christmas Eve and post on Christmas day? What? What's going on? I don't know. Okay, so today's tea is, it's hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, rich, fudgy, and indulgent. Yes, amen. But it says it's like high caffeine. So I'm not, yeah. Oh, cause it's black tea. Gotcha. I'm learning, I am learning. Okay, so that's gonna be for another morning. Oh, maybe a Saturday morning. Cause I'm not on a work day willing to give up my actual coffee. <laughs> mm -mm. So that's what we're going to do. I need to make my warm lemon water and I'm going to use my tea kettle hot. Oh God, I wasn't even in the frame. Um, I'm going to use my tea kettle hot water maker thing. What is this thing actually called? All I know is that it heats up water like ridiculously fast. It is amazing. So I'm going to do that um, and enjoy watching some TV. I need to plan out my day. Uh, that only takes like five minutes. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't, what? anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm gonna go have my coffee. All right, coffee is brewing. Uh, water is made. I'm ready to start my morning routine. One of the things I wanted to share was my work gifts. Now these are for like my immediate co-workers in the office. I love using this bag. It's from Fresh Market. I got it a couple years ago, but I always use it this time of year to cart things back and forth from home and the office and back. So it's very, very helpful and festive. So for each person, I just did like a small little gift bag and it just has um, a Christmas card and some chocolates and another little box of candy. So I don't spend a lot. I mean, it's a lot of time and money to buy every single person gifts at work. Um, so I just do what I can and make it look cute. So there's several of those in there and I'm going to give those to them today since most of them are taking the entire week off, um, next week. I am not taking the entire week off next week. I'm not bitter. I'm totally fine about it. Maybe. Okay, so the workday's definitely not over, but <laughs> apparently when I was at Target yesterday, my badge holder snapped and my hospital badge was dropped at Target. And I'm just very, very thankful that there are kind, honest people in this world because the person who found my badge um, looked me up on Facebook and sent me a message saying that, hey, I think you were just at Target and you might have lost your badge. 
and I didn't see it right away because it went into my others folder but um yeah they were I saw it and I was like oh my god he's like well I turned it into um, their management and they'll have it waiting for you so I am so thankful because yeah that badge grants access to our building when we're not open and other areas of the building that people should not have access to so yeah I um, am just grateful for honest kind people so I need to go pick that up and grab lunch and then come back to the office to finish my day so off I go back to Target hopefully I'm not tempted to buy anything while I'm there <laughs> success I got my badge um, however I bought a pair of leggings and two sweaters okay I almost made it out there uh, without buying something Target will get me every single time all right, so we are done with dinner. We ordered pizza per usual. It's our Friday night thing. Um, I'm actually, it's been a while since we've had it. <laughs> anyway, we had dinner a little while ago. Words are our friends. Um, and now I'm just gonna check out today's tea. I don't remember looking at it this morning, but today was kind of a blur. So let's see what's in here. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what day it is. It is the 20th. Wait, maybe I opened it already. <laughs> I think I opened it already. Because I only have the 21st, the 22nd. It is the 20th. Okay, I opened the tea earlier. Let's just move on. We're not opening tea. Um, yeah. So, this is our, our Friday night. Everyone's actually upstairs already. I do need to... <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't need to clean up a little bit, just get all that pizza stuff put away. Um, I wrapped the other gifts that I needed to wrap earlier. All of that is done. I am currently just going over my content planner to see what needs to go or get filmed to be put up next week because it, because it is a holiday week. Um, so yeah, that's how we're gonna wrap up this vlog. And speaking of wrapping up, I know I'm a dork. I would love to know do you put your gifts out before Christmas and Christmas Eve? Like all of ours are under the tree right now. Obviously there's more that's gonna be added over the weekend, but do you put them up ahead of time or do you wait for Christmas Eve or Christmas morning to put your presents out? I've seen some people not put anything out and I get it, little kids, pets. Let's not talk about what my pets have tried to do to my tree. <laughs> so. But I would love to know if you have your gifts out already under your tree, if you celebrate Christmas. So with that, we will close out week three of Vlogmas. We're almost done. All right, guys, until next time, bye.